Hi folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at today, uh, this video, a situation where we're going to be comparing a system of equations and looking at their intersection point and interpreting what that is, finding the rules for this situation. So I'm uh, using CPM course three, section 5.2.2 number 5-36, okay? So let's read the question and we'll go through the process. It is the end of the semester and the clubs at the school are recording their profits. The science club started off with $20 and has increased its balance by an average of $10 per week. The math club has saved $5 per week after starting off with $50 at the beginning of the semester. So it wants us to create an equation for each club. Let X represent the number of weeks and Y represent the balance of the club's account. So let's, I'll write our science club. And then we have our math club. We know that any equation is y equals mx plus b when we talk about certain aspects. We know that that m is the rate of change, okay? It's the rate of change, and we know that b is the initial value. Some may say, you know, that's the y-intercept, and this is the slope. When you think about the what it happens on the graph, graphically, yes, that's the y-intercept. And graphically, that is the slope. But ap uh, um, as application serves us in this case, this is an application problem. We're dealing with B as the initial value and M as the rate of change. So it's the same idea, but this is dealing with application of the problem. So Y equals what for the science club? We know that their initial value was $20. So it's going to be plus 20, we have that as the initial value. And then it says it's increasing at an average rate, right? The balance is increasing on an average of $10 per week. There's your rate, $10 per week. Remember week was X, so we know that's my X value, $10 per week, so it's 10 X. So that's the equation that works for Science Club. Ooh, I just realized I, my B didn't get finished on Math Club there. Okay, so then, for the math club, we would say y equals what? Well, in this case, math club has what? Saved $5 per week and a started out with, so our initial value of $50. So that would be 5x plus 50. $5 per week, that's my M, my rate of change. And then $50 is my initial value. So there's the equations or rules that we have for that situation. So I did A. So B wants us to graph both lines on one set of axes. So that we can look at, um, I'm going to grab some graph paper here. With this, I'm going to graph these two lines. Uh, and I know, I know that I'm dealing with money, weeks and money. So everything's positive in this case. So I'm only going to use the, the first quadrant of my graph just to make it um, use up less space that way as well as kind of see it closer. So just the first quadrant. I don't need to extend my lines and use more than the first quadrant in this case. So your x value, your x axes were, were weeks, right? That's what you... As a good rule of thumb, time, if you're dealing with time, weeks, months, years, days, seconds, anything that's a time unit is usually your X value, is usually your horizontal axes. My Y axes, my vertical axes in this case is, is going to be the money saved, right? So let's think about my scaling. If my initial value was 20 on the science club and 50, on the math club, and they're going up this one by 10 and this one by five, 
I probably want to have my scaling by fives, right? So as far as money, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then I'll skip. That's 40, skip again, 50, 60, 70, okay? And then my X scaling, well, weeks, weeks, I'm going to just go up by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth seven and we'll go from there so my initial value for let's do science club first is 20 so 20 he's science club starts at 20 down and the rate of change is 10 right so it's increasing 10 every week so it increases 10 every week do you see how this works increases 10 every week so my slope or my rate of change is 10 over 1. 10 every week, 10 every week, and so on and so forth. And then our graph then, if I'm going to connect my dots here to kind of show this trend. Here's my trend. And then with the... with the math club my math club starts at fifty dollars right but it only increases five every um week so it goes up five every week five on that week then five again then five up and up at that week five on that week and five on that week and then five on this week there so my trend line it's not as steep, right? Because the rate is less. So, of course, it's not going to be as steep. So, there's that trend line. So, there's my graph of each of these. So, I can label them uh, math for that one and science for this one. And got my equations. So, there's my graph. So it asks the question, though, in part B, it says, when do the clubs have the same balance? Well, the same balance would be where they intersect. So that did just fit on my graph. So I, I look and I see that's going to be where if I follow that point down. Where did they have the same balance? It's at six. So for for my part B, not only do I need the graph, but I would say at six weeks. They have the same balance. And then part C, what is the balance at that point, right? So you notice we went, we looked down here, it's at six weeks, but then to figure out what is the balance and we look at the Y, where is it on the Y axis, right? So it's, if we follow over that 70, 75, 80. So it's up here at 80. So part C then, the balance, equals $80 at that six weeks. All right, I hope that helped.